possession. Ross steps behind the three-point line and gets the jumper to go. He is smooth. He's got five early points here now. Pike's team is no shortage of shooters. It's missed by Kinnear in the paint there. And back the other way comes Ross. He is hot to start this game here this evening. He's got an early eight points, including two trays in the first three-plus. Not able to get that take to fall, so it's still a five-point game. And there again is Ross, who does hit the other three, so they... Yang with it now, puts up the floater, gets it to go, as Yang's now up to seven points on the evening. So he can sneak in and try to knock it away. Gets a screen from Kinnear, again working the inside game, gets it to go, and one. Third time's a charm for Mason Lowen. Kellum as, as basically a like-for-like -like substitution off the bench. If there is a big difference, it's that Mason is much more of a distributor and a driver, whereas Kellum is a, is a long distance. Here out of St. Michael's down the road. Oh, after missing last weekend, Jason Skelly comes back as Noah Lewis answers at the other end, but Jason, no matter what the scoreboard says. <laughs> <laughs> the comedy stylings. And ball worked into the corner. Charn Gill drops a three, so the Vikes not quite able to hit the century mark yet. Quick three there will drop for Lewis as he found himself wide open there. Assumption would be Josh Ross who has the ball now, and he does. Comes up just short again, a huge long distance tray falling just short, but what an effort from both of these squads out here tonight, Jody. A 100 to 97 victory for the Vikes.